Welcome back to the Caspa Silver YouTube channel. In today's video, I want to talk about Marathon possibly dumping their Caspa. If you have not seen this clip circulating around X, there was a re recent interview with the CEO of Marathon, and I want to let you guys go ahead and listen into this. If you're already mining Bitcoins, why did you just purchase more Bitcoins? So uh, not only do we mine Bitcoin, but uh, we mine things like Caspa and uh, if you think about one kilowatt of hour, one kilowatt hour of energy uh, results in about eight cents of um, Bitcoin revenues, and one kilowatt hour of energy results in about a dollar of Caspa, and so I can take Caspa and sell it and buy Bitcoin, and so I'm essentially lowering my cost to buy Bitcoin. So there, he basically just told everyone why Caspa is much more profitable to be mining right now than Bitcoin, and then said that he can just take his Caspa and then sell it to buy more Bitcoin. And so I like what this user here points out that he then states that Marathon can sell Caspa to buy more Bitcoin. And I don't believe that just because he said this means that they're going to always be doing this. And in my opinion, it wouldn't be smart for them to do this. When they first announced that they were mining Caspa back in on June 26, they said here, diversification has been key to our investments in energy solutions and tech innovations, and it remains crucial in our digital asset compute operations. And then you could read the full press release of them announcing mining Caspa. You could see here that they basically mined about 93 million Caspa. But when they announced this, they received a lot of flack from the Bitcoin community of people just basically not liking this because, of course, the Bitcoin community is very against anything else other than Bitcoin. You have this person here saying must be down bad here. And you just have other people basically making memes about them going into an altcoin in their opinion that Caspa is just another type of altcoin but this decision really stands out because marathon mining Caspa is the first time that marathon has decided to mine another proof of work coin and out of all of the other proof of work cryptocurrencies that exist they decided to choose Caspa and i don't think they chose Caspa because they think that they're just going to do a quick trade and buy more bitcoin Another Bitcoin maxi that was really just heavily against Caspa after they announced this said here, you might have seen today that Marathon is actively mining Caspa. I would love to hear from Marathon if Caspa paid in any way for this promotion and if Marathon intends to hold Cas long term on its balance sheet. This coin got some prominence by circulating fake rumors that it was founded by Satoshi. It's got a whole ambassador page that is very reminiscent of Herbalife, which is pretty hilarious that this is basically the best he can do when he's trying to attack caspa says that caspa having an ambassador page is uh, pretty bad which i mean it's a community-led project there's no company behind it i even pointed out here that when marathon released their press release they did not mention one thing about supposedly satoshi being behind Caspa, they gave actual fundamental reasons as to why Marathon decided to start mining Caspa. And I said here, I don't see anything about Satoshi here. I made one video back in, when was this? April 8th of 2023, asking the question, did Satoshi create Caspa? And showed what some people have circulated online on why they believe that Yonatan possibly could be satoshi which was just a rumor and it was really more for fun i didn't even push this as a narrative behind caspa as much as some other people were and that's simply because i personally don't actually believe it i believe that he's really just joking when yonatan is referencing himself as supposedly being satoshi i don't think he's serious about that and my channel is proof of many other fundamental reasons as to why caspa has gotten the attention that it's gotten ever since it's launched and he continues over here to just keep grasping that straws here says does this look legit to you 248 followers six comments four blog posts coordinates four billion market cap token with marathon and he's just pointing out shy's account on medium which is an account he really doesn't use he's only posted a few articles on there and when he took the screenshot his last article was back in 2023 and he's concerned that 
he only has 248 followers on a medium account which is something that's really not that pop popular as a social media platform and even shy responded to this saying caspa did not pay marathon and in fact did not engage with mara in any way but the other way around marathon has been mining caspa for 10 months only made a formal connection by approaching me two months ago in web3 expo h hong kong via bitmain even then i was not aware that they were are already mining caspa the satoshi meme is amusing but was never any part of the marketing strategy of any serious cast endorser you will not find these references in any official account or content and the founder explicitly stated that he is not satoshi caspa's prominence has nothing to do with this silly rumor and it's true caspa's prominence has literally nothing to do with this rumor and he made a comment on under shy's post here that basically made no sense but the FUD was really getting big when this announcement happened because this is the biggest miner of Bitcoin has decided to diversify and start mining Caspa and now this clip is circulating that they could just use the Caspa they mined to just simply sell it but I personally just believe that this is something that he just said that he could do not that they're seriously going to be doing and if you look at all of their releases, they keep doubling down on why they chose Caspa and that it is just a diversification play. And to me, not so much as a trade for them to get more Bitcoin. It says, by mining Caspa, we are able to create a stream of revenue that is diversified from Bitcoin and that is directly tied to our core competencies in digital asset compute, said Adam Swick, Marathon's chief growth officer. Because of our existing infrastructure, our unique relationship with hardware manufacturers, our strong balance sheet, and the expertise of our team, Marathon was uniquely positioned to mine Caspa and to capitalize on the higher margins that exist for those who can deploy Caspa ASICs today. We look forward to continuing to support innovation in proof of works ecosystems as we expand our position as a leader in digital asset compute. And this was rumored to supposedly be the mining address for a marathon and as you could see here that they approached about 98 million caspa uh back in june and it looks like people were saying that you know they've been selling their caspa because they think this might be their address and they're now currently sitting at about 84 million after selling off the 98 million that they were able to reach at the peak but nonetheless i mean if they are seriously using caspa as a way to just buy more bitcoin in my opinion it's really just their loss and it's really not that big of a deal here was the recent second quarter 2024 results for mara and you could see here that on here it says diversify the company's portfolio of digital asset compute through the successful launch of caspa mining operations so they keep doubling down that caspa is just a diversification ever since they announced caspa their stock has risen about 50 percent and then obviously has crashed recently due to the current uh market the fear in the market that we're having right now but nonetheless if they are just simply going to mine caspa to dump it and buy bitcoin that is ultimately a good thing for caspa because this is just a single entity with just about 85 million caspa that, that's Pretty much a drop in the bucket compared to the 28 billion that is going to exist in caspa and ultimately it's just going to decentralize the supply of caspa even more we could see here that the top 10 addresses here hold 15 percent of the caspa supply top 100 is 31 percent and top 1000 is 54 percent and this is a significant decrease from over one year ago back april 21st 2023 when i made this video over here you can see that the top 10 was at 18 top 100 was at 36 and the top 1000 was pretty much at 63 percent so uh, since a year ago of making caspa content caspa has been more decentralized across addresses and that's exactly what we want to see so seriously it's not really that concerning if they decide to just dump caspa in my opinion it will be pretty much their loss and you know, when you're comparing to something like Toncoin, which is currently number nine in market cap, you can look at Toncoin's Explorer and the top 10 holders here are holding 62% of the supply. Top 20 is 71%. 
top 50 is 86 percent and then the top 100 holders for this coin is 92 percent of the supply and this is something that you definitely do not want to see in a cryptocurrency project but yet it's still staying at number nine in market cap but to me is very suspicious and just possibly tells me that the supply and price of the coin is just basically being manipulated by the top holders being able to basically control the whole entire supply of this coin so ultimately like i said i don't personally believe they're gonna just simply use caspa as a strategy to sell it make a trade and buy more bitcoin but even if that is the case i'm seriously not going to be concerned about it it's ultimately their loss in my opinion when caspa currently has about 15 percent left of the supply to go i pretty much believe that there's going to be a huge surge in demand of people wanting caspa as the supply becomes much more scarce and there's not that much left to be mining and i'm pretty sure that's why marathon chose to start mining caspa already because they realized that the amount they can mine is gonna quickly and rapidly go away so those are my thoughts on the potentiality of marathon dumping their caspa for bitcoin i hope you guys enjoyed this video and before we go if you have not yet considered getting yourself a cold storage device unfortunately the caspa branded tangent wallets are completely sold out you guys seriously killed it on like my last news video when i mentioned that there were a few left there was like a few hundred left it just completely sold out within the last two days so you're gonna pretty much have to wait if you want to get a caspa branded tangent wallet but in the meantime if you don't really care about having the logo on your wallet you could still pick the tangent cards and on the normal website of tangent and if you use the code caspa silver you get 10 percent off and i also receive a commission and i greatly appreciate that because it does help support the channel but tandrum is a really good solid cold storage device to get you started with holding your caspa offline and off exchanges and it's really great to do that because when you keep your coins on any exchange you don't actually own them and it's always best to self custody your caspa so if you guys are interested you can go check that out i also have videos on different wallets that caspa has and you can also check those out if you go into my playlist and take a look at my playlist on cold storage solutions for caspa you could check out the other options you have there as well so thank you again so much for watching leave a like subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here and as always don't be average be different